experiment, we're going to look at the effect of enzymes on apples. I'm going to use the enzyme pectinase and I'm going to use some apple puree. So first of all, I'm going to measure out 50 grams of apples into each of our beakers. So this is our apple sauce here. So 50 grams in A, and 50 grams in B. Now in beaker A, I'm going to add two mils of our enzyme pectinase. And in beaker B, our blank, I'm going to add two mils of distilled water. I'm then going to give each solution a good mix. And then we're going to place in a water bath to allow the enzyme to work for 15 minutes at 40 degrees. So I'm going to pop these two into the water bath. And then I've got two here. That have been in for 15 minutes. We're then going to time how long they take to run through a filter. So I'm using a measuring cylinder, a filter funnel, and a coffee filter paper. So I'm going to start our timer and pour each through.
So we're going to have a look and see how much of the apple juice is run through after one minute. So after one minute, we've got 10 mils in A. So that was the one with the pectinase. And zero mils in B. So we're going to recheck this after five minutes. Mm 